Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome. How are you? Bye, teacher. Thank you. And you? Awesome, awesome. I just finished teaching an advanced class. Okay. Ad advanced three. Right now, I just finished from eight to nine. And how are you today? Are you ready? Excellent teacher. Bye. Yes. I'm ready for class. All right. That's great. I'm happy to hear that. How was your day today? How was today, your today was why a lot of a lot of work in the morning. <laughs> really? In the, after, in the afternoon working on on house in preparing dinner. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. Did you cook? Yes. Ah, okay. What did you cook? Um, beans, eggs, and vegetables. Vegetables, how do you say vegetables? Be vegetables. Vegetables mm -hmm. and coffee with milk oh <laughs> sounds very delicious yes <laughs> so, sounds like you had a good dinner <laughs> very good thank you uh, Lorena how was your day good evening teacher good very evening hard. why was your day very hard Because I went uh, to the supermarket at 6 p.m. after the work. Oh. So I I am um, I was tired. You didn't want to go to the grocery store. <laughs> yes, it's necessary, teacher. Oh, okay. All right. Me okay. too. I need to go to the grocery store. Yes. I need, I need to buy milk, eggs, beans, rice, sugar. But I am lazy. <laughs> 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 so I didn't go. <laughs> I will I will go on Saturday. Teacher in my house is training. Oh really? Nice. Yes. Nice. Oh, I wish it would rain over here. I don't see any rain over here. <laughs> nice. Enjoy the cold weather. Hello, Rogelio. How are you? Hello, teacher. Hello. How are you? How are you today? I do um, most work, most job. A lot of work, a lot of money. Uh, many, many, many work. And what do you do? Where do you work? Um, accountant. Oh, okay, okay. How long have you yes. been an accountant? Yes. How, how many years have you been working as an accountant? Ah, um, and... Six years. Six years as an accountant. Wow. And yes. do you like it? Um, yes. Yeah, so, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay. That's good. Do you like numbers? Yes. Yes. Okay. That's good. That's the important thing. It is, is a number uh, grandfather. Yes, grandfather mm -hmm. numbers, correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, who can tell me what information do you remember about yesterday's class? Maida. Hey, Maida, you have your microphone on silent. Um, hello, sorry. Hi, hello, how are you today? How do you feel? I have the flu and the cold. 
Oh, you have the flu and the cold. Oh my yes. God. Yes. You should be in bed, resting, sleeping. Um, the ride yesterday. Oh my God, I'm so sorry to hear that. It's raining in Lorena's house. Sorry? It's raining in Lorena's house. Sí, yes. Okay, all right. Well, I hope you feel better. Thanks, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Ricardo, what information do you remember from yesterday's class? I remember yesterday we learned, we learned how to formulate an answer question with a short answer, yes, no, mm -hmm. and the past simple. Correct. Very good. Can you give me an example? Uh, um, did you enjoy your summer? And yes, I did. Yes, I did. I had a great summer. The exercise. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Okay, guys. In today's class, uh, does anybody have any questions about the vocabulary, grammar, pronunciation, anything that you have a question about referring to yesterday's class? No, teacher, ayer me había confundido en cuando hacíamos las preguntas, pensé que el verbo, cuando hacíamos did, you, mm -hmm. you, pensé que el verbo era en pasado y así las estaba formulando cuando nos manda a hacer los ejercicios. Ah, ok. Y después okay. me di cuenta que era en presente. Ajá, ajá. Por ejemplo, si usted dice, ¿hiciste tu tarea? Did you do your homework? O si tú dices, ¿cocinaste? Did you cook? Así dice usted. Ah, ok. Comiste. Did you eat? Mm -hmm. Ok. Ok. So today, guys, we're going to move on and we're going to be looking at section number 4.12. Knowledge check. Instructions. Unscrabble the questions by putting the words in the correct order. Remember to type the question mark. Example, have you did summer a uh, good? And the correct way is, did you have a good summer? Question mark. So you are going to organize the words in the correct way. Do you understand? Yes, teacher. Do you have any questions related to this exercise? Okay. You're going to work in pairs, help each other, and then we're going to check as a class. If you have any questions, please ask me and I will help. Teacher, yo estaba cometiendo un error. Yes. Es que me salía de la sala y volví a entrar otra vez. Porque como oh. no veía a nadie, yo dije, me sacaron. Entonces volví a entrar y, y yo creo que va a quedar cortada. La, como en tres ocasiones me pasó lo mismo. Oh, okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, no, don't worry about that. Just stay okay. in the same one. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Alexis, 
Carlos Arnoldo, Aida, Aida Vázquez, Carlos Antonio, Arnoldo Castellón, let's go, let's go. Carlos, let's go, Arnoldo, let's go. Hi, teacher. Hey, how you doing? Work with the Maris. Work with the Maris. Okay. Work with Jacqueline. Work with Jacqueline. Good evening. Hi, good evening. No, no me lo pongas allí. Work as a trio. Carlos, Jacqueline, and Ricardo. Work as a trio. Hi, teacher. Hello, hello. Work in pairs with Carlos, Damaris, and Ricardo. Excuse me, teacher. Can you please repeat the question? Uh, yes, you are going to work in this activity, section 4.12, right here. And you are going to organize the question correctly and write it in the box. Okay. Thank you, yes, teacher. Yo sí hice la tarea. La... Eso nos está preguntando, ¿verdad? Correct. Sí, sí, la 4.12, yes. Sí, ya la tenemos. Eh, sí, teacher, yo ya tengo esta sección. Yo también. Ok, awesome. Okay, let me have one volunteer do number one. Me? Oops. Okay, go ahead. Yes. Did Can you watch television last night? Did you watch television last night? Perfect. All right, another volunteer for the next one. Okay. Okay. Did you have dinner last night? Did you have dinner last night? Thank you. All right, another participant. Me teacher, did you go to work yesterday? Thank you. Did you go to work yesterday? Very good. And the last one, a volunteer. Last one, volunteer. Me, teacher. Okay. Well. Yes. Did they go to the movies on Wednesday? Excellent. Did they go to the movies on Wednesday? Is correct. Perfect. Any questions related to this vocabulary, pronunciation, grammar? Questions? Questions, uh, questions? Teacher, yo en la última puede pronunciarlo otra vez. En la, la parte final. Wednesday. ¿Cómo se pronuncia bien? Wednesday. 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 Thank you. Wednesday. Uh huh. Okay. Another question referring to the pronunciation or the meaning of this vocabulary. Questions. Questions. 
questions. Okay, now we're going to look at the following activity, which is section 413. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for discussing summer activities. Al final de esta clase, aprenderán vocabulario para discutir las actividades en verano. Summer activities. For discussing summer activities. Summer Let's activities. Listen and practice. Listen and practice. Summer activities. Summer activities. Go hiking. Go hiking. Go swimming. Go swimming. Have fun. Have fun. Have a picnic. Have a picnic. Meet new people. Meet new people. Meet old friends. Meet old friends. Play tennis. Play tennis. Play volleyball. Play volleyball. See a movie. See a movie. See a play. See a play. Take a class. Take a class. Take pictures. Take pictures. Now, let's put these vocabulary words into practice. I would like for you to put these vocabulary words into practice by combining them with these verbs. Go, have, meet, play, see, take. Okay, vamos a trabajar esta actividad de la siguiente forma. Van a poner estas palabras y estas palabras a la par del verbo correspondiente. Los verbos son go, have, meet, play, see, and take. Y las actividades son hiking, swimming, y todas las que están acá. So, usted dice go hiking, go swimming. Ok. Eh, La otra sería have, have, ¿qué va a decir? Have, picnic, ¿Ah? picnic. Have, a class. have a class, have a picnic, good. Um, ok, lo van a escribir acá, en el discussion forum, right here. Do you understand? Yes, teacher. Ok, cada actividad con su, con su verbo correspondiente. Mama. Ready? Let's do this. Let's go, Alexis. Let's go, Ricardo. Let's go, Aida. Let's go, René. Let's go, Cecilia. Let's go, René. Let's go, Aida. Let's go, Aida. Hello, Raquel Santos. Sí. Hola, guys. Acaba de entrar Raquel Santos. Okay. Okay. Thank you. In the chat. Hello. Hola. En el Hello. chat lo han puesto. Ahí está. El suyo, ¿no, Mario? Sí, 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 lo acabo de poner ah, para, okay. Ajá, para, para que, que se copie. Ajá. Go hiking. Ok. Go swimming, ¿verdad? Have fun. El, quiero, creo que el, hay una que dice feel. No. No. No es. No, te reviso. No, no, no hay ningún feel. Solo es meet, play, see y take. Estoy, have es como tener, ¿no? 
Tengo, estoy, esto, tengo fun es alegría, ¿no? Have fun. Es como... ¿Cómo sería? Uh, take fun. Ah, no, 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 no. Es como... Ajá. Sí, te voy a have fun. Ah, no, pero sí, hey, so fun es. Creo que sí, ese es correcto. Sí, por el otro, porque. Como estoy oh. feliz, que tener. Hi, fun. Creo yo que, que eso sería. Divertirse, creo que significa. Ajá, como. Ajá, ser alegre. Algo así, vea. Ajá. Have fun. Se pronuncia have fun. Ni, ni, quizás no tiene mucho sentido en español. Uh -huh, tengo. Quizás en inglés. Uh -huh. Es que al traducirlo creo que queda divertirse. Queda divertir. pero, ajá. Yes. Uh -huh. Como solo fun es divertida ¿va? o divertido. Sí. Pero have, have fun es que tengo diversión o, diverti o, o divertirse, ¿verdad? Sí. Uh -huh. Ajá, de esa forma. Sí, como no necesariamente se, se traduce literal, ¿verdad? Cabal. Ajá. Ah, pues sí, pero sí está bien. Meet new people. Meet old friend. Play tennis, play volleyball. See a movie, see a play, take, see a play. Take a, take a class, take a picture. Sí, sí, sería lo correcto, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok. Tenis. Tenis, tenis, tenis. Tenis, sí. Sí, el de sí a movie, porque ya creo que nos van a regresar a. Sí, de sí a movie sí. y el otro. El otro sería tag, eh, tag de, de take, de tomar, ¿verdad? Take. Take. A picture. Ajá. Picture. Take a picture. Sí, creo que sí, picture. 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 Tomar una foto, ajá. A picture. Y el otro sería. Es fun. Fun, divertirse. Entonces esa puede ir con. Take, make, meet. Class. Oh. Ajá, divertirse. Tomar, tomar una clase, clase de, de clase. fotografía o de pintura, algo así. Ajá. Exacto, ahí tenía que tomar. Solo nos hace falta aquí en PIC, ¿verdad? A PIC nos ha quedado. No, también la de FUN, FUN, no sé a dónde iría. FUN es divertido. Pero ¿con qué lo podemos unir? Ir a escuchar. Ah, no, eso ya está. No. Tener un, oh, este, un PIN y divertido. Porque hay, hay verbos que pueden conjugarse con varias. Ah, con varias, sí. Uh -huh. tener, tener un momento de diversión. Sí, porque un pin prácticamente para ir a divertirse, a distraerse, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ir de excursión, nadar, tener un paseo, tener una diversión. Ver a viejos amigos. Um, ¿Qué nos queda por descarte? Es el New People. El new People. Podría ir aquí. Yeah. New People. 
conocer gente nueva, new people. Sí, cabal, exacto. New people. New people. Ajá. Conocer gente nueva. Aquí, aquí es encontrarse, a mí de encontrarse también, ¿verdad? Encontrar viejos amigos, encontrar gente nueva. Uh -huh. Jugar voleibol, jugar tenis, ver una película. Aquí creo que nos falta algo. En ver. La de Pom. Es Pom, ya lo pusimos arriba. ¿A dónde es? Ah, perdón, me perdí. Ahorita, aquí. Aquí lo habíamos dejado. A tener uh -huh. diversión. Mi friend. Ah, ok. Pom. Solo nos ha quedado en, en ver. En ver nos ha quedado a movie. A movie. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. 2, 4, 6, nos falta una. ¿Qué nos queda afuera? Eh, quiero que me estuvo a movie. estuvo a movie. No, a movie. All about tennis. Eh, a movie picture. La de Fana Claps, creo que ya lo habíamos puesto también. ¿no? La de la... Creo que por aquí está el, el problema, porque la de la cl ah, a, a, clas Play, a Play lo he puesto aquí al inicio, aquí, esa es la que está mal, a Play, y es, y es Play, ¿verdad? Entonces aquí, aquí está malo jugar voleibol ya play voleibol, play tenis, jugar voleibol, jugar tenis. Aquí están las dos, pero en movie. Ver un juego creo que es a movie. A play. Una obra de teatro. Ver una película. A play. Ajá. A play. Es este, ¿verdad? A play. Entonces sería ver una película y entiendo que a play es una obra de teatro. A play, no. Uh -huh. Sí, pues en, el, en la plataforma está. All right, let's check. Let's look at the first one. Go hiking, go swimming. Have, have a class, have a picnic. Okay. Meet. All friends. Very good. Meet new people. New people. Or? Meet all friends. All, all friends. friends. Play. Play tennis. Play tennis. Play volleyball. Play a volleyball. See? A play. A movie. See a movie. A movie. See a play. Take a class. Sure. Take a class or mm. Take pictures. pictures. I got pictures. Take, Take pictures. Take pictures. Okay. Let's move forward. We're looking at 415. By the end of this class, you will develop skills in reading for main ideas and details. Al final de esta clase, ustedes desarrollarán habilidades en la lectura para las ideas principales y los detalles. We can yo start. tengo una pregunta. Yes, of course, Jacqueline. Hi. Este, en el, en, ay, en el, en el ejercicio anterior, uh -huh. fun, fun, o no sé si cómo se dice. Sí. Sobraba esa palabra. ¿Cuál? Fun. Eh, fun. 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 Oh, fun. 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 Es divertido. Yes. Did you have fun? Correct. Uh -huh. Divertido. Uh -huh. Ajá. Y este, pero, pero en, yo, yo en, en el ejercicio eh, sobraba, teacher, en el este que estábamos haciendo, es que en el grupo nos estábamos preguntando dónde se ponía, dónde estaba fan. Ah, ok. Yo lo coloqué en, en Hub, lo coloqué yo. 
Hay que ir, no dio duda porque tener eh, qué sería. Fun, ajá, uh -huh, fun. Eh, have fun. ¿Y cómo have se traduciría, fun, teacher? Tener algo divertido, ¿cómo? No, diviértete. Oh. Have fun es una expresión. Ah, have fun, ah, bueno. diviértete. Ah, ok, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Yes, of course. Ok. Let's go to the next one. Good question. Weekend stories. This class you'll develop skills here reading for main ideas and details. Can you hear? We'll do this by yes. 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 Okay. weekend stories. Weekend stories. Kelly. I had a great weekend. I went to my best friend Helen's wedding. She got married at home. All her friends and family went. She looked fantastic. She wore a beautiful dress. After the ceremony, her parents served a wonderful meal. I'm really happy for her, and I really like her husband. Robert. I had an awful weekend. My friends and I went to a rock concert. I had a terrible time. It took three hours to drive there. I didn't like the music at all. And after the concert ended, our car broke down. I called my parents, and they came and got us. We finally got home at 10 this morning. I am so tired. Aaron. I had an interesting weekend. I went camping for the first time. My friends took me. We left on Saturday and drove to the campsite. First, we put up the tent. Then we built a fire, cooked dinner, and told stories. We got up early on Sunday and went fishing. I caught a fish. I didn't really like camping, but I learned a lot. All right, at this moment, do you have any questions related to this vocabulary? Aaron, Robert, Kelly, any questions? Draw. Okay. No teacher. You no. you no. are you are going to write a similar paragraph about your weekend. Va a escribir un párrafo similar acerca de su fin de su de semana. And you're going to put it here in the discussion forum. Puede escribir el mismo que escribe su compañero. Any questions? No, thank you. You're going Teacher, to... en el foro de discusión se va a colocar eso. Correct. Un párrafo. Aquí, okay. un párrafo pequeño describiendo un fin de semana así como lo han hecho ellos. De acuerdo. Let's go, Renee. Let's go, Eduardo. Let's go, Raquel. Este, no sé si ustedes habían hecho. Sí. Ya, ninguno de ustedes había hecho. Ahorita. Bueno, podemos comenzar así. I have 
a great weekend. I went to play football with 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 my yes. with, with my new friends. Yes, I have a very uh -huh. very very nice. I I, I have. I have to I have to nice moment or time, no sé cómo lo podemos poner. I have to nice time because 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 have a nice time because because I love I love play I love play yeah. entonces sería así si quieren nos vamos anotando I have a great weekend sí. I went to play football with my new friends I have a nice time or I have to nice time because I love play este, no sé si le agregamos algo otra que agregar que ganamos por mucho marcador ah está bien I win uh, seven a uh, zero oh, <laughs> Y todos los goles los metí yo. Okay. Ajá, y todo. Y hay que poner que delantero a Hugo. Jamás jugué. De verdad. Por no. eso le decía que nos ayudara. No sé si Hugo, usted ya lo tiene más o menos adelantado. Por eso le decía que lo compartiera. Va, yo lo puedo, yo lo puedo escribir si gustan. Eh, tal vez si Hugo me, me, me dicta con o gusto. Sea, ok, démosle pues. Right, okay. uh -huh. Excellent. I have a great weekend. Right, voy, a, voy a compartir la right. pantalla Excellent. entonces para que eh, lo vayan viendo de una vez. Listo, listo. Permítanme un momentillo. Creo que por ahí lo ven. Le voy a aumentar la yes. tamaño de la letra, permítanme. Ahí está. Ahí está bien. I have a great a great weekend. Weekend. Mm -hmm. I, uh, coma, sería, I went. I went to play football. To play. To play soccer. Oh, soccer. Mm -hmm. Eso, cabal. So <laughs> Ya ven, es importante. I went to play soccer. Uh -huh. With my new friend. Ok. With, aquí, with. My, my with new friends. New my new friend. Friends. Friends, ajá. Uh -huh. I have a nice time. I have a nice time. Because I love because no sí. because because Jose. I love aquí no sé si lleva el tú o de un solo ponemos el love play y yo creo que el love play es válido I love play I love to play uh -huh. De las dos formas. Sí. Ahí pongámosle que hay winning. No. Ah, eh, no no es, puede ser. Es I, win. I win. 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 Winner. Winner. Winners. O le puede. Uh, ajá. Winners. Eh, no sé cómo se pone el marcador, sinceramente. Score. Ah, ajá. We win a score. Two, Podríamos six. poner así: the, uh, 
car. ¿Sí? El marcador fue. O ganamos. No, no. We win at two zero. We win at two zero. True. I see. True. Okay. Ah, zero. También. Muy bien. Estábamos muy felices. ¿Cómo sería? Eh, eh, emotion. Sí. Exciting. Pero estábamos. Muy ahí va un sería sería ahí, ahí va un auxiliar que, sería, que, sería, que, sería, que, sería, que podríamos utilizar el, el very o el to, que lo estamos como exaltando donde decimos we very found o we ahí sería had I had a great weekend con a de oh. así no, uh -huh. I had en la primera oración I had a great weekend I oh, sí, had verdad. a nice time ah, pasado sí Thanks, 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 Thanks. Sí, quizás. Ahorita vamos a estar ya. Bueno, bye. Gracias. Bye. Quizás él lo paga. Charomba. Ay, no, terminemos, ¿verdad? Porque si no, no vamos sí. a... On Sundays... Went... Puse... Went... To... Church. Church. Iglesia. Ajá. Uh -huh. ah, y en la tarde... We walked... We walk, walk in there. Walk to the park. Bye. Si quiere, este, tómenle una foto para, por si nos pregunta algo para llevar una idea. ¿Verdad? Sí, uh -huh. sí ahorita la estoy tomando porque lo quería escribir, pero sí me presentaba esa dificultad. Sí. Okay, aquí es Walter, Walter, me falta la Walter to the park. Solo que uh -huh. ahorita no sería de subirla, sino que él preguntaría voluntario. Sí, sí nos puede preguntar, por si nos pregunta, este, le podemos decir para, es eso, ¿verdad? Para, para salir de, de, de la, de tener algo para decir. ¿Verdad? No, y si ¿Qué? pide voluntarios, te puedes ofrecer para que... Sí. Ah, sí, sí, para que... Ah, voy... No, pues sí, porque ya lo hiciste. Sí, porque sí. ya lo hice, yo le voy a decir Pero que, sí. que, que, que las hicimos. Okay. ¿Verdad? Pero si pregunta a, a cualquiera... No, ahí sí te que sabe. leer lo que, lo, que, lo que se ha hecho, lo que se tiene. Sí. Entonces, este, bueno, yo lo que quise poner, lo, lo que yo quise poner es que vaya, que el sábado, el viernes por la noche, tú, tú ves sin, sin en la casa, ¿verdad? Y que la película ¿Eh? que vimos fue Adams en Ice y que era bien interesante porque era basada en eventos reales. Que el sábado en la noche, este, I had, yo me reuní con la familia y amigos. Y fuimos a comer pupusas. <ríe> Eso puse yo, ¿verdad? Y que sí. el domingo fuimos a la iglesia y por la tarde fuimos a caminar al parque. 
Eso traté yo de más o menos escribir, ¿verdad? Por si nos preguntar, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál parque te va a decir? Centenario. Ajá, sí. Cusca, claro. <risa> ok. ¿Verdad? Está bien. Sí, yo lo que veía tal vez de agregarle ahí, como decir que la, eh, fuiste a la iglesia el domingo. Sí, le puedo Ajá. agregar en la mañana porque después mencionas en la tarde para que ah, quede. Sí, 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 es cierto, le podemos poner eso. Sería. ¿Dónde con, sería? Con, quizás on sería. Un, on Sunday. In the morning. In the morning. ¿Verdad? In the morning, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. River, eh, sí, porque hasta, hasta Río, digamos que estamos bien. Ahora, para decir que está cerca de la casa del abuelo, el río, no sé si, si se comienza con Nir, que es cerca, ¿verdad? De cercanía, de cercanía, ajá. ¿eh? To my grandfather house. The, the right is near my grandfather house. Cabal, exacto. Ajá. Está corta. ¿Y a dónde lo vamos como... a pegar? ¿A dónde lo vamos a subir o okay? qué? Este, no sí. sé si nos la irán a preguntar o tal vez en el foro de discusión, porque hay quienes, yo nunca he llenado el foro de discusión, no sé ustedes. Ajá, yo tengo entendido que en el foro de discusión. Ajá, como que se copia aparte y luego se pega ahí. A veces funciona. Quienes lo hacen en Word. Copian y pegan. O quizás cuando lo pregunten a alguien, un valiente, dice. <ríe> lo lee. Sí, pero más que todo es para que tengamos como una idea de cómo describir Ajá, algo así. Sí, eh, como el ejercicio. Uh -huh. para... Incluso, incluso digamos que podemos decir que venimos noche a nuestras casas. Creo que el pasado Ajá. de venir es Cam. Ah, el pasado de. De venir. Uh -huh. o vine. De venir. Ah, sí. Es, es Cam. Porque venir en presente creo que es Com. Ajá. Es cierto, uh -huh. com es el presente uh -huh. y quem. ¿Y quem es el, el pasado? pasado. Ajá. Entonces, ahí sí podríamos usar el, el den, por ejemplo. Entonces, Ajá. then I come to my house very night. I came Ajá. to my house very night. Ajá. I vine I a mi casa came muy... to my house. Sí. Very, very nice. night. Ajá. Uh -huh. House. I can. To my house. Baby. Ah, incluso para finalizar el anterior, para eso sería, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ah, perfecto. I came to my house. Very night. Night. Ajá. Ok. ¿Qué más se podría agregar? Yo digo que está ahí, solo que la dormida. Um, ah, muy cansado. Cansado. La palabra de cansado es tired, creo. Correct, tired. Tired, ajá. Sería very night. Este. And, ¿cómo, ¿Cómo le agregaríamos que, que cansado? I came to my house very tired. night. Tired. T-E-R-E-D. C-I-R-E-D, correct. Ajá, ok. Bye. 
pero, ajá, tres, bueno, está como de siete líneas. All right, who wants to share the activity? ¿Quién quiere compartir su actividad? Me. Okay, Lorena. The last weekend, I went to the beach with my family. I ate fish and shell cocktail. Mm. I drank coconut water. It was funny and excited. I was swimming in the sea. Also, the weather was very hot. I enjoyed uh, the time. Very good. Perfect, Lorena. Okay. Thanks, thanks. Okay, another volunteer. Me. Okay, Morena. And I am Stephanie. Oh, all right, <laughs> Stephanie. Okay, I have a fun weekend. I went to my grandma on Saturday. And next, I went to the coffee shop with my friends. In the next, I in in the next day, I clean my house. In the noon, I went to the lunch with my sister and my mother. In next, I shopping in the mall. I went shopping in the mall. Excellent, very good, Stephanie. All right, Morena. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Um, on Friday night, I had a cinema at home, and the movie I saw was I can stay eyes very interesting bus bus on true events on Saturday night I had a meeting with family and friends and went to eat pupusas mm -hmm. on Sundays in the morning went to church in the afternoon we walked to to the park perfect perfect all right thank you good job Morena Thank you, teacher. All right, go ahead, Mayra. I, I had a very busy weekend. I did a lot of school homework for my daughter. Also want to assure uh, we had a party birthday to my uncle Jose. He has 67 years today. It was a surprise for him. He was very happy and surprised. Maria, she came to sing happy birthday. All right. It was her birthday. Excellent. Okay, <laughs> very good, very good. Okay, any questions referring to this activity? Questions, questions? No, thank you. Okay, let's look at the last activity for today. It's going to be section five. Yeah. By the end of this class, you will be able to form positive and negative statements with the passive be verb. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Al final de esta clase, ustedes serán capaces de formar oraciones positivas y negativas en pasado con el verbo ser. Además, practicarán una conversación la cual ilustra cómo se utiliza este tema en un escenario de la vida real. Simple past. Listen, please. As you learn to form positive and negative statements using the past of be. Additionally, we'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I was born in Korea. Let's listen and practice. I was born in Korea. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh. So you weren't born in the U.S.? No, I came here in 1999. Hmm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good, so I took English classes for two years first. 
Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. Let's take a look at the statements on this chart now. Statements with the past of being. I was born in Korea. I wasn't born in the U.S. You were pretty young. You weren't very old. She was 17. She wasn't in college. We were born in the same year. We weren't born in the same country. They were in Korea in 1998. They weren't in the U.S. in 1998. Contractions. Wasn't equals was not. Weren't equals were not. We can follow this formula to form positive statements in the past with be. Subject plus was or where plus complement. We need to remember the following. For the pronouns you, we, and they, we will use where. And for the pronouns I, he, she, and it, we will use was. Now let's analyze a couple of examples. I was born in Korea. First we need to add a subject, I. Then we will use the verb to be in the past, was. Finally we will include a complement, born in Korea. Let's do one more example. We were born in the same year. First we need to add a subject, we. Then we will use the verb to be in the past, where. Finally, we will include a complement, born in the same year. Now, let's talk about making negative statements in the past with be. We can follow this formula to form negative statements in the past with be. Subject plus wasn't or weren't plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of negative examples. I wasn't born in the US. First we need to add a subject, I. Then we will use the verb to be in the past in its negative form, wasn't. I would like to point out that this is the same as saying was not, but we will typically use contractions. Finally, born in the US. Let's analyze one more example. They weren't in the U.S. in 1998. First, we need to add the subject they. Then we'll use the verb to be in the past in its negative form, weren't. I would like to point out that this is the same as saying were not. But we will typically use contractions. Finally, we include a complement. And the U.S. in 1998. Now it's your turn to practice making positive and negative statements in the past with be about yourself, friends, and family. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, so in this activity, what we're going to do is we're going to be giving examples using the be verb in the past tense. You're going to use was and wasn't, were and weren't in the past tense. I want you to give me at least, at least five examples. And you're going to share these examples here in the discussion forum. That's going to be your homework for tomorrow. Any questions?
No teacher. Carlos. No teacher. Carlos. No teacher. teacher. Carlos. Okay, thank you. Hello. I have a question. Hello, Raquel. Hey. Nosotros teníamos una pregunta. Oh. Se traduce con la actividad anterior, ¿verdad? Se traduce yuca uh -huh. como yuca. Yoga. Yuca, frita. Fried yuca. Fried yuca, correcto. Es, es una... Es como una comida tropical, digamos. Ok. Como mm. mango, mango. Tacos, mm. tacos. Ah, ya. Mm -hmm. Sí, sí, era de la actividad del fin de semana. Gracias, Pich. Ok, thank you, Raquel. Sorry. Uh, Carlos, sorry. Ok, teacher, thank you. And I have a question about the, this topic. And when we use the pass of B, mm -hmm. what is the correct form uh, to put other verb uh, then in a, in a sentence, for example, eh, por, ejem por ejemplo, o sea, ¿cuál es la, la, la correcta forma de poner un verbo después como complemento, por así decirlo, en, en, en su base forma o se pone en pasado o, 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 o cómo? Eh, no lleva otro verbo, ese es el verbo. El, el verbo to be, ese es el verbo. So, si te fijas en el video, Aquí, veamos esta. I was born in Corea. El verbo es was. No hay otro verbo. Si yo te digo, you were pretty young. ¿Cuál es el verbo? Were. No hay otro verbo. She was 17. ¿Cuál es el verbo? Was. No hay otro verbo. So, okay. en, en, en ese caso no se pone otro verbo, por así decirlo, después de, de, de was or were. Correct. Correct. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, guys, see you tomorrow. Please continue. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.